We are here for the finals of the Geekery Sunday Super Series. Got Queen on our left playing Naya Zhu. Jake on our right playing uh, Blue Green Infect. Jake appears to have gone to six. Uh, to open things up, Queen going to start it with... Is it a Goblin guy? Are you going to try and call this shot right now? It's going to be a wild Nicodle. Is it? I don't know. It hopefully is, right? I mean, I think Goblin guy's better. But. I think Nicodle's better on turn one. Well, Nicodle. Woo! The choice of Queen. I guess you attack for five by turn two if you have both of them in your opening hand, if you play Nicodle first. Yes. All right. And then if you just have Nicodle, or if you have both of them and you play Nicodle turn one instead of Goblin Guide, if Nicodle gets in twice, it's already made up the damage that Goblin Guide would have gotten. Sure. Jake starting off with Pendlehaven Glistener Elf. It's a pretty good start out of uh, the Infect deck. Uh, I mean, if Justin just has a Bolt, uh, I don't think this matchup's going to be great for Jacob. Uh, they both have huge clocks, uh, but Queen just happens to also have a lot of creature removal that incidentally also does damage to face. Yep. And Jacob really has no way to interact with this outside of spell skites out the sideboard, maybe. Maybe some number of spell pierces, things along these lines, but we'll see in just about a moment. Yes, we will. Um, Queen picking up a foil Sacred Foundry off of that Arid Mesa to show out. Um bringing that Nakatl up to a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, get in with it. No blocks out of Jacob, I would presume. I'd be very surprised. I mean, if he has Mutagenic, maybe you're like, I just need to get this Nakatl off the board. I don't think you trade your listener and a Mutagenic for... Then again. Curtip. Curtip Nakatl. Can you beat him? Uh, the old 2012 deck. Yeah. It, he's so good with it. He wins so many games with it. It's nuts. Uh, looks like Jake picked up a copy of Vines of the Vast Wood here. Uh, so here's an Inkmoth Nexus, which is nice. It's a nice backup thread if you need it. You can be a mana producer if you need it for something like the Come uh, Sadly, it doesn't really cast much besides that. Yeah. Um, it can cast Glistener Ill, or uh, Blighted Agents, but... As a mana source, it's not super useful. Yeah. You think he's got a good attack here? I mean, you can send it in. You're threatening the... You uh, can send it in, pump it. If you have Mutagenic, you're down a card, but you kill a creature. Yep. Yeah. Queen probably just blocks with Curd Ape. It just doesn't care. Yeah. Uh, but now on you, now that it's Queen's turn, if he attacks with everything, you can block the Curd Ape, pump it with Pendlehaven, get two minus one minus one counters on the Curd Ape, and the Curd Ape's no longer a threat. Yeah, I mean, this seems like a pretty miserable matchup for Jake. Just the, the combination of ground blockers and the right amount of burn spells out of Queen. Blighted Agent is very nice in this matchup. Yeah. Sadly, uh, Jacob does not have it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. it is... He has it in his deck, he doesn't have yes. it in his hand. Yeah, he didn't. <laughs> Uh, it, def it definitely allows for a lot more broken style starts. Here's so a, here's a Vexing, Vexing Devil. Devil. Yeah. Uh, People say that cards where your opponent gets to choose are always bad. But this one, the choice is tough sometimes. Like, I mean, the, the burn deck is pretty happy to just play a one-mana deal. Bushwhacker. Yeah. Uh, that was a pretty great draw. Uh, yeah. This is going to be 4, 8, 11, 13 damage. So yeah. Jacob is forced to block here. Um... Interesting question on what you sent. I mean, if you send everything, you force him to use Pendlehaven and a pump spell to keep his creature alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pendlehaven will let the Glistener Elf block the uh, Reckless Bushwhacker and keep you from dying. Uh, I suppose plus one, plus two. Yeah. But, so. I mean, well, the other question is, are you just dead on the swing back if you swing out? Because you're tapped out and all your creatures are, are attacking. I mean, if... Uh, Jacob didn't try to go for it last turn to try and force a block. His hand is kind of clunky. He doesn't have any other green sources. He has yeah. one green mana. Yeah. He has Might of Old Carosa and not much else. So it looks like Jake's going for the uh, Pendlehaven block on the Bushwhacker. 4, 8, 9, 10, take 11, go to 2. I mean, your mutagenics don't work anymore That's now. turned him off, yeah. Yeah. So, like, there's not much Jacob's going to be able to do in this, from the spot. He really needs something like... I mean, not another ink moth. <laughs> <laughs> if he sticks a creature and just can't even block block, yeah. uh, you have to go for the kill here with one green mana, and you I do. don't know if it's possible. So there's plus four, plus four. Up to five. Get in for five. Uh, two mutagenics in hand. Sadly aren't castable. Sadly uh, not able to put those on the stack without losing the game immediately. Yeah, and it looks like 
There's no real other play from Jacob here. Uh, tough decision, but like I believe the game might just be over. Even if he like attacks with this, a six. six yeah. Uh, there's no real way to get to 10 infects so with he, the cards in hand. Yeah, hands. if he was not at two, he does have lethal on board, but unfortunately he is. So he's going to get in for his six points of infect. And then just pass the turn. Yep. Yeah, shout okay. out those uncastable mutagenics. <laughs> Our players are ready to go for game two. Uh, both have gone down to six. Queen resolving his mulligan. It appears Jake already has. So both decks mulling to six. A uh, little bit more relevant for the infect deck, as the infect deck definitely needs a larger mass of cards. Um, whereas Queen's deck just needs to stick a threat, threat, and just ride those to victory. Yep, I, I think that this is favorable for the zoo deck. Uh, we'll see what happens then. Uh, Queen tap playing Forest into Pelt Collector, which is a card we haven't seen yet. Yeah, Pelt Collector's been very good for him. Uh, Jacob fetching here, probably getting a tapped breeding pool, uh, just letting him save a little bit of life, especially against this aggressive uh, zoo yeah. style deck. Yeah. Uh, if Queen has Nakadal next turn into Vexing Devil, that's a pretty nice turn with Pelt Collector on the board. Yeah. Because it can get up to a 4-4 four, four if Jacob decides to take the damage. Sure. Which uh, might be right. Might be rough, but might be right, yeah. I think that you'd rather take the damage than let him have a 4-3 blocker. That, in, addition uh, in addition to a 3-3. Three, three, yeah. In addition to another 3-3, three, three, yeah. 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 There's a lot of uh, situations where all those things are very bad. Yeah, Vexing Devil is a hard decision to make sometimes. Yeah, like, especially in these zoo style decks. In the burn style decks, you usually just take the four because it's just a threat that will accumulate. Mm -hmm. But in these decks where they have multiple creatures, yeah. it's a lot harder to say whether you want it to stick around or not. All right, we got a Glistener Elf out of Jake. That's been to start both games. Queen is looking to, looks like he picked up a Burning Tree this turn. So he's going to get to do some amount of shenanigans. If you can go Burning Tree, trigger the Pelt Collector sure. into Nakado, trigger the Pelt Collector into Vexing Devil, trigger the Pelt Collector. Yeah. You swing for four. Have two blockers. And you maybe make your opponent take four damage from the Vexing mm -hmm. Devil. Yeah. So, like, that'd be a pretty nice turn. We'll see if he has it in hand. Uh, it's a very strict line of cards, but I think very he has plausible. most of those cards in his hand. There's a Vexing Devil. Yeah. Uh, does he, does like he have he the Burning the Tree? Yeah. Burning Tree so there. So, Burning Tree. So, trigger the Pell Collector into Burning Second Tree. Burning Tree. Into Vexing Devil. So, a bunch of triggers are happening. Uh... Gosh, that was a wild... At least he didn't have Bushwhacker. Yeah. At least it wasn't like Burning Tree, Burning Tree, Burning Tree, Bushwhacker. Because yeah. that just kind of ends the game on the spot. Yep. So are you going to pay life? You are. That's so going to go up to four. Three. Yep. Three counters, four yes. power toughness. It's a 4-4, four, four, and you swing for four, and... Gosh. Yep. Pelt Collector showing off... Uh, it is. It's a good turn one play. If you do not play a turn one, it is probably the... It's just a one-mana one-one yeah. that doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, but having it turn one definitely can just end the game pretty quick. Uh, so you probably opt the block here, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Force him to have some sort of spell to... It's greedy. You could say that the Pelt Collector and those two guys... Opt him uh, to use boss main defense. Yep. Trade those off. Put him within bolt range next turn. But there is just an outside shot. You lose the game. Yeah. Jake's stuck on one land, unfortunately. That is rough. Uh, it happens. Luckily, Infect is a deck that can run with one basic. Yep. Or one land. Yep. A lot of its spells are one mana free or free. So as long as you can get in a few of those hits, that you, you can end the game. Queen respecting the power of the uh, Infect deck to just end the game. Only sending in with the Puck Collector here. So here is Light Up the Stage. And he did find a Vexing Devil. Let's see if he fetches an off to play that. Do you take the four here? If the Queen casts the Vexing Devil? Or is that just too close to bolt? I think you take the four. Yeah, you Because your opponent's got a forest up after it resolves. Uh, I think you take the four, and then you just have to try it. Two blockers is pretty insurmountable, even if you can somehow give this Glistener Elf... Trample. Trample. He's going to block Cast Berserk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Berserk would uh, be a great out here. Sadly, I don't know if there's a card that does that. I don't think there's one in the format, no. No, 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 there's not. No. Uh Trying to find hope where hope is not found. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Jake's going to give him that vexing devil. Yeah. Uh, I mean, here's a blighted agent. Sadly, land. one land. Yeah. He has two become immenses in hand. Here's an attack. Here's a block. Cast might of old Krosa. Looks like blessing defense again. Yeah, I mean, like either one does about the same thing. Yeah. Uh, and there's and my stack of cards. That will All be right. the game. 
Uh, That's congratulations it. to Queen for winning the Super Sunday series. Uh, we will see you next week for our next series. Yep.